Bianca Bella here. Today I'm going to do the cosplay tag created by Keishu Lou Ferret. And it's basically just your run of the mill YouTube tag video, you know, my boyfriend does my makeup or something of that nature, except with cosplay. And I think that's fantastic. But I've also decided I can't do this video alone, so I've brought in my best friend. You might remember her as Catwoman in several of my other videos. So without further ado, Stacey Lee Cosplay. How you going? Yeah, good. Wicked. Welcome to um, video stuff. Thanks. <laughs> it's good to be here. Now you can find her on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Stacey Lee Cosplay. So there's 10 questions in this cosplay tag, so let's get started, eh? So going through high school as huge wrestling fans, we ended up putting together our own superhero costumes loosely based on former WWE wrestler The Hurricane. My alter ego was Thunderbolt and Bianca's was Hurricane Rana. Yeah, original I know. Yeah. So even before we knew what cosplay was, we were walking around in costumes as teenagers. We were always being big kids. So after we went to our first supernova, we're not exactly sure when the need to cosplay really took its grasp on us, but it was somewhere between Supernova 2011 to Armageddon 2012 where we actually did our first cosplays. Now we went to roughly two conventions before we started cosplaying ourselves. Our favourite thing about the conventions from the beginning was cosplay and cosplayers. We were just amazed by the detail and effort that went into these costumes. I never really considered doing it myself. Now I never really had any passion for a particular character at the time. So it wasn't until The Dark Knight Rises came out that I finally found a character that I identified with enough to put the effort in to cosplay. And for me, I think it's fairly obvious that I'm a Legend of Zola fan. Not really sure, maybe, don't know. Anyway, I decided to do something simple for my first cosplay. I'm the sort of person that generally likes to do characters that haven't really been done before. I decided to go with a cockery from Ocarina of Time by the name of Fardo, and I just think she's completely adorable, and I've only seen maybe uh, three other Fado cosplays in the world. I always loved her and I thought she'd be a good character to start off with. So we attended our first convention in cosplay together, um, again in 2012. Despite having gone to conventions before, going in cosplay was a complete different experience and we had no idea what to expect going into it. Any cosplayer will tell you that the social atmosphere at a convention in cosplay is unlike anything else. And it was that social vibe that really made our first cosplaying experience something to remember forever. So it was that that made us really love it and want to pursue it further. So neither of us have that many cosplays between us, largely because we believe in quality over quantity. So my favourite character is Nolan's Catwoman. With my first cosplay I definitely started big and to this day this is still my dream cosplay and still my hands down favourite. Because this was my dream costume, after my first convention I only wanted to make it better and better again. So it was a couple of months after Supernova 2013 when I contacted Greg of GVM Designs to commission this catsuit for me. It wasn't until I got this whole costume from him that I truly felt like I was doing this character the justice that it deserved. So I never thought people would look forward to seeing me cosplay Catwoman. Between that and my love for this character, it just drives me to continue doing this cosplay. Easily my favourite cosplay has to be my current that I've been wearing, which is of course Princess Zelda. Growing up playing Ocarina of Time, I always wanted to be Princess Zelda, so today cosplaying as her is obviously my favourite thing to do. At first I was very intimidated to cosplay as Princess Zelda because it's been done so many times before, particularly the Twilight Princess version like I do. But since I started doing it, 
a lot of people have actually said that I do the character justice and I really bring out a life and that means the absolute world to me because I never thought I'd be able to do it. And because of those responses, it's given me the confidence to really be Zelda. I was playing as Princess Zelda, basically it's just like no other feeling in the world. Because our cosplays have been largely commissioned, we're going to apply this question to our most challenging experiences wearing our cosplays. In turn, this also covers what was our worst cosplay experiences. So it's two questions in one. My first cosplay in my first cat suit before I enlisted the help of Greg was definitely my most challenging experience in cosplay. So the problem with my first suit was it was latex, therefore it didn't breathe well. Now it doesn't help that this photo shoot was done on a 38 degree day in a small studio with no air conditioning. So by the end of the day my hands and feet had swollen to pretty much twice their size. They were like balloons. She knows all about that. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I felt so bad for her. Personally I'm not sure what's been the most challenging experience or the worst experience but I have had some awkward experiences and they're both through cosplaying the Great Fairy. Even though it is polite to ask things first it was still very weird to have someone come up to me and say can I take a photo of your bum? Not cool. And the other very awkward experience was um, someone came up to me and asked me for a photo, so of course you oblige. But during the photo, he moved his hand from my back right onto my butt cheek. Not even kidding. And it was so awkward and I was so taken aback and I just... I couldn't say anything because again, I was just so taken aback. And it was the most awkward thing ever. Ever. On that note, cosplay is not consent. Consider no. other people's feelings before you do what you are even thinking of doing. It just comes down to common decency and being polite. As Bianca covered, cosplay is not consent. Just because we decide to wear a costume that may be revealing it does not mean that you can treat us like we're not human beings. When we wear costumes that might show skin, it is because we are trying to be true to the character. We are not trying to be true to you for touching. Like seriously. <laughs> Don't do it! Stop it! <laughs> It has honestly been a blur from when we first started cosplaying up until now. We've had little negative, a lot of positive and a lot of highlights. So our best memories are those we continue to make with the friends we've made over cosplaying. We love you! <laughs> <laughs> foreseeable future. We have so many cosplay plans and goals to cover between us. We may be still cosplaying in five to ten years, we may not. Even if we do decide to stop cosplaying, we can still see ourselves attending cons and having a place in the cosplay world. So we aren't going to list any cosplayers we know personally because it would just be way too hard to narrow it down. Instead we will list five cosplayers between us whose costumes we love and continue to follow. First off, Harley's Joker and Joker's Harley because it's hard to pick just one of them. Lee Kovacs has to be a favourite of any Zelda related cosplayer as well as Akariko. And also Nicole Marie Jean and Genevieve Marie whose utilisation of their cosplays is truly admirable. Obviously mine would be Batman. Even though I've only cosplayed one character from the Batman universe, Batman was by far and still is my favourite superhero. It was Nolan's trilogy that brought these characters to life for me and took my love for Batman to the next level. I love everything about these films and it's been truly amazing to meet other cosplayers and fans in general that 
feel the same way. I think it's fairly obvious that my favourite series to cosplay from is The Legend of Zelda. I grew up playing Ocarina of Time. There is absolutely nothing I love more than the Zelda series. And as Stacey said, it's been the most amazing experience to meet others who share that passion. So just to be boring and predictable, um, I'm pretty much doing my dream cosplay right now, which is Catwoman. So there's one thing I would love to do that would be to pay homage to one of my all-time favourite movies, Jurassic Park. Basically, I just really want to be a dinosaur. Technically same sort of thing, I am currently doing my dream cosplay which is Twilight Princess Zelda but currently my dream cosplay is Hyrule Warriors Zelda because I mean look at her, finally, right? She's a warrior S and she's badass and it's amazing and Woo! yeah, Zelda, <laughs> Zelda, <laughs> it must be done. As is the case with any YouTube tag video, we're going to nominate some people. We do nominate every cosplay everywhere in the world to do this. But notably, we want to nominate the Melbourne Link, Melbourne City Batman, Yes, this is Jester, Von Grimm Designs, and Xander Panda Cosplay. So basically, everyone from my last group shoot video with the added Xander Panda. Thanks so much for watching this video. As is with true Batman style, the sun is going down and we must fade into the night. Woo! Tag team champs! See you in the next video. Bye! Bye! You might have noticed that my camera seems to be in a weird kind of place. That's because I need someone to fill this area. <laughs> it sounds too sexy. I'll fill your area. <laughs> so I see you have a lovely Batman themed leotard on today. Yes, I do. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed uh, you were wearing a Zelda dress. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Clothes! <laughs> yeah, it's like really. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of one of those cats with the ears like this. Being princess. Hey! Stop the show! She's on a very fixed income.